All right, now we're back in America. What are we gonna do? Are we gonna go RVing? Are we gonna go sailing? Are we gonna rent a house and go in the middle of nowhere? Am I pregnant? What? No, I'm not. What's up guys? We are back from our big adventure. We went to Australia, Antarctica, and New Zealand. It was amazing. We are now in America and quarantine life has been interesting. Probably for everyone, but especially for us just because we're so used to being on the road almost all of the time. Except for the time we were in Antarctica and you literally couldn't go anywhere. Which I think was good for us because it prepared us to quarantine because yeah. in Antarctica, you, you, like you said, you couldn't go anywhere. You were stuck in the same place for six months. Um, we didn't even get a helicopter ride anywhere. Oh my God, we're so privileged. <laughs> but we, we, we really- We didn't even get a helicopter <laughs> like ride. other people, like we're not scientists. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Uh, it really did prepare us for this, and I think our travels, we got to see everything we wanted to see right before we went to Antarctica and started living this kind of domestic life where we didn't go anywhere. So just to be very clear, we got back to the United States in late March when things were really starting to shut down. So for the past three months, we have not been on the road. All of that footage that we've been putting out just recently over the past three months has been previously filmed before things got crazy. So we really have been like following the rules and been staying at home with our parents, not traveling since March 20th, I think it was. That was like our last fun travel day. And then we hit the road right back to America so that we could be safe with our families. Since we've gotten back from our Australia trip, we've kind of like gone back in time where we're both living with our parents in separate states Zach has been here in Texas. I have been with my parents in Maryland. We're both living in our childhood bedrooms. <laughs> Things have gotten strange. They have gotten strange. Um, she's running in her neighborhood every day, like she used to when she was in 10th grade. I'm going to the same gym I used to go to in 10th grade, and um, everything is the same. And my sister's living in my house, and her sister's about to move back to her house. So it's going to get really interesting. Um, as far as future plans go, we wanted to go to Africa right now. Obviously, mm -hmm. can't do that. Um, we wanted to go to South America in January. That's still kind of on the horizon. But just like you guys, we don't know yeah. what the next step is. So um, fingers crossed that we can go to South America for six months from January to June of 2021. But... Who knows at this point? Yeah. You know, I think like the entire world is kind of struggling with the idea of travel, mm -hmm. you know, for for pleasure, for fun, for yeah. leisure. And I think the most like the most responsible thing we could be doing right now is just staying put, mm -hmm. you know, and like spending time with our family because things are just so up in the air. You know, it's nobody knows when it's going to be safe. You know, no one knows when there's going to be a vaccine. For right now, we are just staying put in our respective homes. Working on our hobbies. I started a garden. She's working on our hobbies. Let's get one thing clear. <laughs> so we did need a little bit more money in order to do more travel in the future for an extended amount of time. So mm -hmm. it was kind of good because I was able to get a job. Oh well. We're going to travel eventually. It's going to be great. Um, but right now we are living quarantine life. And in the next couple of weeks or probably a couple of months, we're going to be showing you videos of things we're doing in America. Um, because we can't really leave. So she's in Texas right now. She'll go back to Maryland. We might do a couple videos there. Um, but it'll be just things that are happening here. And then in January, hopefully, fingers crossed, we can give you a lot more travel content. This channel is not going to die by any means. If we have to wait until June of 2021, we will still go traveling. It's um, It just depends on when everything, if they make a vaccine, when bans lifted. I don't know what's really going to happen. But yeah. um, if it is June and nothing's happened, then good thing is, my family does own an RV, so we can do some United States content for you and really got on yeah. the road trip. Yeah. Retro we, RVing. Retro RVing. I mean, yeah, I don't think we would renovate it. Um, no. We would just live in it <laughs> as is and take off for the West Coast and um, show you where we met and stuff like that. So it just depends on how long the quarantine is. Yep. But um, we are riding it out just like you guys. And we have a few ideas on some footage that we've already taken throughout our travels through Eastern Europe. Greece and Southeast Asia. So we might be bringing you some videos on like our top five favorite foods in this country, that country. Yeah. Who knows? It's like, kind of yeah. Thailand, for instance, we have 25 videos. And that's yeah. a lot of different meals to cover. So in a condensed version, I think that would be very helpful. And I think we should go back and see like how many times we've said the word cow soy. <laughs> you know, like there should be a whole video devoted to that. 
That is, uh, that is all we eat. Yeah. <laughs> it could probably be 10 minutes worth of just cow soy. Cow soy. We love cow soy. Oh my god, cow soy. Guess what we're having? Cow soy. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this video. I know we're kind of all over the place, as is everyone else right now. No one really knows what's going on. A lot of other vloggers that we follow have done the RVing thing, but it's really nice for us to just take some time back so that when we do get back on the road, we can really pound the pavement and go to a lot of countries in a short amount of time. Yeah, and it's been nice to spend like a lot of time with our families living in their houses mm -hmm. and being taken care of by them. Cause like we don't have our own apartment, we have cars, but like that's literally the only thing we own. We feel very fortunate to have this time as people in their late 20s, you know, because that's just like not an opportunity you get. So thank you for watching this video and look forward to content about the United States coming up soon. Stay safe. Stop with the lips. Wait, wait. I want to do that. Okay. <laughs> All right, now we may... <laughs>